Hello everybody, welcome back to Paints Creek Killings. I'm so excited to be back in this game because last time we were in the security room and we found a lot a lot of new keys and we will start with exploring those rooms. I'm pretty sure one of the keys was to the tea room. Um, hold on. But I don't remember which one. Okay, I guessed it. <laughs> right. Wow, look at that. Looks pretty. Okay. Um, nice clock. That looks like we can open it. Place an item. Um, I'm not sure I have anything for that yet. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we have another key. Uh, exquisite design. Uh, no, I wanted to click. I guess that's a diary. Oh, that's Vivian's diary. Okay, let's read. Friday, April 28th, 1972. That's, I think, the earliest that we have found so far. Charles is running for election. I talked to Wilson and Edwards, and they have both agreed to support us. I don't think they are doing this to solely uh, gain business benefits, rather they believe in Charles. Their support will help boost morale of, for our party. Um, Friday, June 30th, 1972. It's our anniversary today. Charles invited me to my favorite restaurant. It was a complete surprise and I was so happy. I thought he might have forgo forgotten. Wait, what? So I was so happy, I thought he might have forgotten. After dinner, we spent the rest of the evening walking along the beach. We talked as if we were teenagers in love. I couldn't remember the last time I felt this carefree. So she has done something that he... Okay, I'm not... I'm not getting it yet. Wednesday, August 9th, 1972. Magdalene is coming. What should I do? She's always asking when we'll be having kids. I don't think I'm ready yet. Not when I'm still recovering from the miscarriage. Oh, okay. Um, Friday, October 13th, 1972. Edwards called today and tried to push me in favor of a business agreement that we discussed months ago. I rejected his request since it will breach uh, the trust agreement between our companies. I didn't expect him to threaten me by backing out from supporting Charles. If that will happen, so be it. I would rather lose his support than to make deals with people with no integrity. Yeah, that's not cool. Okay. Right, so that was the first part of Vivian's diary. Uh, I think when we get the whole diary, we get an achievement for reading their story, so... I can't click on that. There's a bunch of hate mail stored in there. Hate mail! Okay. Oh yeah, we've heard that... Uh, uh, that uh, Vivian got a lot of hate, hate mail. Can't open any of those. Is there anything else in there? No. Oh, investigation on Payne's Creek Community Hospital donation funds. Dear Mrs. Roberts, uh, Dear Mrs. Vivian Roberts, our latest investigation shows that Dr. Henry Johnson has been embezzling funds from the Roberts Relief Foundation. He sent in a portioned uh, amount to an offshore private account under the name of Jefferson Investments. Oh. Every fifth of the month, uh, an exact amount of $9,990 is being transferred, supposedly for the payment of medical supplies and equipment. However, neither the equipment nor the medical supplies could be counted, accounted for. This has been going on for the past 16 months. As, far, as of now, the total amount embezzled years uh, one hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Sincerely, Roland Brown. Oh, and that was the doctor that helped her, and she trusted him. I think it's closed. Can I open that with the beautiful key? No, doesn't work. Okay, right. That was interesting. I didn't expect to find Vivian's diary in here. Pillows. Um, okay, I don't see anything else in this room. At least now. 
I think that clock might be open. It's like a little door, can you see? Oh, and then here. Nothing, okay. I think I got scared for a second by this Chandler, okay. Um, let's go to Trisha's room. I'm very curious what we can find there. Um, I don't remember which key again. Let's try to guess. And we guessed it correctly again. <laughs> okay, that's a beautiful room. A cage. Okay, we need a key for that. But the lower one is not... Okay, we need the key for both of them. We have a note here. Trisha requested that all her books be brought to her room in the hospital. Okay, so in the hospital we... I guess we can go to the hospital and find a room where all the books are stashed and then we'll know that it's... Uh, oh, look at that. What, what can I do with it? Not sure. No. Okay. Uh, so we'll need to find a key for that. Okay. A diary, isn't it? Yeah, let's read. November 13th, 1988. Scott's a strange kid, very quiet. I don't think it's right for the other boys to bully him and call him names. I wonder why Scott's parents didn't want him. January 6th, 1989. Uh, I don't like after-school programs, especially ballet. It's difficult and boring, and I hate proper etiquette. What's wrong with being myself? I don't need to be like mom. Um, study room code! Oh, that's perfect, okay. Uh, August 3rd, uh, 1989. I haven't seen dad for a while. I wonder wh when he'll be back. Uh, every time I enter the study room, I can smell his tobacco smell. It's the perfect reminder when he's gone for so long. I miss dad. Mom's always working. She's so busy with other people that sh she has no time for me. Sometimes I wonder if mom loves me. Maybe I should call Dorothy mother instead. Oh no! Oh my god, okay. Let's take a picture of the study room code. I was thinking that maybe we'll find that in one of the rooms. Um, it's. I think it's downstairs. <gasps> a cabin key! Oh, that's perfect as well. Oh my god, I'm so excited <laughs> that we're finding so much uh, information in all of those rooms. Yeah, that's probably it. Let's see. Can't open those. It's very weird. So this house is supposedly like abandoned for years now, for like what five years, and it's still it doesn't look like it's been abandoned for five years. You know what I mean? It's like it's almost as if they left like a week ago or something, and they will be coming back for all those boxes and everything. Okay, we need two keys for this room. Um, right, and what was the third room? Nanny's room. Okay, I got I written down notes while I was editing. Uh, I'm not sure where Nanny's room is though. Balcony, Trisha, security tea, Dorothy's room. So it's right in front of the security room. Where are we? Okay. Oh, check. I hope we can find another diary. Um, so that's the key for her room. Okay. My bowl. Can't open that. Let's check if there's someone else. Yeah, I keep checking. I think uh, right after uh, the first episode, when at the end we saw this girl in the woods, I keep checking if there's anyone else in the windows. Okay, what's that? January 31st, 1996. Dear Charles, who's Charles? Um, I don't remember. I've worked here for more than 20 years, and I'm so glad that I was able to spend time here with everyone. Oh, Charles is the mayor, okay. I greatly, greatly appreciate the opportunities you gave me and the time I spent with Trisha. Trisha was everything to me, and she loved me. She smiled whenever I called her. I wish I could, I could have given her more. Despite what has happened here in Queens Creek, there are moments of pure joy that will 
We've all shared together. I will hold on to these memories. I'm sorry that I'm leaving and won't be able to serve you anymore. Thank you for everything. Please take care of yourself. Sincerely, Dorothy. So Dorothy left in the beginning of 1996. So, yeah. Maybe they have left shortly after. Uh, come on. <laughs> Why is this so difficult? Okay. There she is. I think that's the same picture that she had on her um, uh, paper in the security room. That's little Trisha. Oh, we can we can do that. No, no numbers in here. And the diary. Cool. September twenty third, nineteen ninety four. I can't believe that Andrew tried to kill himself again. Thank God for Scott. I cannot imagine what would have happened if Scott wasn't there to save him. Andrew was never like this when Laura and Daniel were here. Even in, even as his wife. I doubt Laura has any idea why Andrew turned out this way. I can't blame her for leaving him and taking her son, their son. Wait a second. I'm a little confused. I thought Andrew was married to Wanda and then their son was Derek. But I think I completely misunderstood everything. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, I wonder if they've con contacted each other since then. October 10th, 1994. I visited Andrew at the hospital today. He seemed different. He looked calm as if he had somehow managed to find peace within himself. The attending nurse said Scott has been here almost every day taking care of him and being with him. Andrew has been talking a lot with Scott. Andrew told me he's ready to see Laura and Danielle again. I'm glad to hear that. I should call Laura and tell her the good news. February 13th, 1995. Scott came to fix my leaking sink today. He did a wonderful job. I offered him tea and we talked quite a bit, mostly about Charles and Vivian. I showed him my old photo album. To my surprise, Scott became very quiet. He asked me if he could borrow one of the photographs. I don't see why not. He thanked me and left in a hurry. Oh, I should call Laura and tell her about Andrew's situation. Uh, June 19th, 1995. It's ironic that Andrew died shortly after being saved. I met Laura and Daniel at Andrew's funeral today. Daniel reminded me of Andrew. I can't believe he's already 15 years old. Um, last I saw him, he was only seven. Laura said Andrew had been sending them money this last few years. She had been considering to return to Paints Creek so they could be together again. If only I had called Laura before the fire accident. I feel so sorry for them. Okay. Um... I'm a little confused as to who's okay we have another 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 diary here November 20th 1972 there is a newly hired maid named Sophia um, I think Matthew recommended her saying that she she's his cousin she's very pretty and has very good manners she's a quick learner too and does every whatever she's told to do She's very eager, asking a lot on what she should do, uh, how she should act when Charles and Vivian are present, how to be perfect at her job. I like her already. March 10th, 1973. The guys delivering food to the mansion were gawking at Sophia as if they've never seen a pretty girl before. I had to ask Sophia to go back into the house, otherwise someone might have funny ideas. Her uniform needs a little more cover. June 20th, 1973. Matthew sometimes comes over and checks to see if Sophia is doing okay. I tell him he is worrying too much that Sophia is loved by all. Matthew seems pleased every, every, every time I say this. Uh, if I didn't know better, I'd think that Matthew liked, Matthew liked her. Matthew? Who's, who's Matthew? Father Matthew? Oh! Okay, so Sophia was his cousin. Who's Sophia though? Um, September 24th, 1973. It rained heavily today. Sophia and I were having our tea break when, he, when she asked me, what does it feel to be loved? I said, well, it's like the feeling you get when you are with your parents. She was quiet for a moment and then replied, it's hard for me to imagine because I don't have parents. I didn't know what to say to her at that, at that time, but after the break was over, I decided to make effort to care for her more. Okay, who's Sophia? I don't think we have 
seeing this name again or maybe diary um wait enter read i think it was somewhere here that's about it started to see sophia again yeah oh so that's the girl from the forest that's the ghost so she worked here interesting the bathroom i doubt that we have anything in here usually bathrooms are empty but let's check anyway just in case yeah so nothing in here okay right interesting so that was the last room from the last key that we used in this room but then we found these two as well the key was an exquisite design usually designed to be used with villas and mansions so that's the mansion key but i don't remember where oh and then of course we got the cabin key and the entrance key i wonder why we needed an entrance key let's see if we can open that um, this key. No. Okay, um, then I suggest that we go to the cabinet because we have a code for that. I think it was somewhere downstairs. I don't remember where exactly though. Oh, also, I wanted to see if we can open the safe. No, nothing is working in here. Oh, push? Oh, yeah, we can, but we need a code for that. Okay, maybe we will find it in the cabinet. Uh, but I need to find it first. <gasps> I, I, I had no idea. I was just like, let me check. Holy shit. That's a master bedroom then. Wow, I didn't expect that at all. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm so happy I tried. Okay. This is so cool. Right. Um, let me see. Another key. Um, do you think that's from Anne's courtyard? We'll check that later. I don't, I don't know where else can use it and another key jesus this is so cool i'm so happy that we're finding all of that okay what's, what's that oh the glasses okay and the diary that's vivian's i think monday january 2nd 1994 andrew came and told me he didn't need an assistant he said scott is too inexperienced and he is a burden to him what he hasn't realized is that the garden hasn't been maintained well over the past few months, that his drunk behavior is irritating, and that Scott is actually doing more work than he is. Scott is a fast learner. He should be up to speed in no time. Charles was the one who insisted on hiring him anyways. Charles liked the boy. Charles likes the boy. They've been hunting together quite a number of times, and Charles always seems happy with his company. I just don't understand his love for hunting. He sometimes spends more time in his hunting cabin than he does at home. Tuesday, January 3rd, 1994. I was shocked to learn that Scott has been asking around about Sophia. How did he know about Sophia? Who could have told him? It must be Andrew. That drunk. I told him Sophia is gone. Those hallucinations of his is getting worse. He needs to see Henry and get more pills. I'll need to have Bernard keep an eye on Scott. From now on, I'll try and see who he talks to, who he asks. Oh, so Vivian knew something um, about Sophia. Maybe like they did something to her. I don't know. Why would they do that though? That doesn't make any sense, to be honest. And then Henry is a doctor that... Uh, stole money from her fund and also who died in a uh, in the river or in the lake i don't remember okay 
Okay, and she's like, she seems very worried that Scott is now asking about Sophia. Why would he ask about Sophia, though? He was investigating something? Friday, April 8th, 1994. I called Oliver and asked if he could be the main photographer for the Easter fundraising event. Uh, when he asked what the funds will be used for, I told him it will be used to raise awareness in Pates Creek to promote our town's tourism. After listening, he agreed to help. When asked how much he would charge, he simply said it'd be free. I was surprised. I appreciate his contribution for this town. Tuesday, April 12, uh, 1994. The deal with Howard Medical came through, just as I anticipated. Instead of being happy, I feel empty. Am I getting numb for, from work? Or is it that I don't care anymore? Saturday, May 14, 1994. Our dinner tonight was quiet. Charles didn't eat much. He asked me about my day, but I didn't want to talk about it. As a matter of fact, I don't want to talk to him much these days. Trisha was silent as well. She's distancing herself from me. I can feel it. She used to confide in me about everything. Now he, now we hardly talk. Is stopping her from seeing Scott wrong? Wednesday, July 6th, 1994. I don't want Trisha to be near Scott anymore. Of all the men in this world, why would Trisha pick him? This is unacceptable. Why is it unacceptable? On the one hand, we get a lot of information from this. On the other one, I'm very confused with all that information. I don't understand what's going on, to be honest. This is all very... I thought, at first, I thought that maybe... Maybe they had an affair with Vivian. Scott and Vivian, I mean. But then I realized that, no, maybe, maybe like she was his mother or something. But now, after reading her diaries, I don't think that anymore. What do you mean it's locked? I mean, oh, maybe we can use it. Butterfly shaped key used mostly for locking musical boxes. Oh, and wall clocks. We will check that. Okay, so we need another key for that. Okay, let's go back upstairs. I'm so happy. And we haven't checked the cabinet yet, so we will need to come back to that. Okay, let's check the tea room first and then the musical box in Trisha's room. Um. Oh, okay. Nothing happened. Oh no. Let me take it back then. Give it back. Oh. Oh. What should I do? I need to know a time. I have no idea. Can I use it for a musical box though? Give it back. <laughs> Oh my god. I can't get it back. Okay, we need the time. I'm not sure which time. If I'll see any any clocks, I'll check the time, but I doubt that. Okay, maybe. Um So it's 10:35. Let's try. How do yeah. Okay. But no, I think we need a specific time for that. Maybe we'll find it in one of the diaries. No, yeah. We need we need to find that somewhere. Okay, I'm very sad that they did, didn't give it back <laughs> for me to try it on a musical box, but okay. Um, yeah, cabinet. Um, journal? No, photos. Okay, um, 4487, okay. Um, sorry. Eight seven one. Okay, I don't get it. Okay, yeah, that was one. Right, I think I've seen. Yeah, we've seen a part of the map on the floor. How do I get it? 
That's the first floor. Um, we are here in the study room. In the study room? Wait. Looks like there has to be like a room here. Place item. Do you think that's a secret passage? Oh my god, that would be so cool. Just take any any book and put it in there, no? Okay, gotta uh, remember that. What is that? Can I crouch? Yes. Okay, I can't do anything with that. Yeah, that, okay, this is so cool. Um, let's see, what do we have here? Maybe we'll find the code for um, Illustrated Medical and Health Encyclopedia. Maybe we'll find the code for the safe that it's in the that, that is in the gallery. Oh, do you think this one? I need an item. Yeah. Oh, dude, this is so cool. Oh, we don't know which one to push. Okay, we need to find that. Oh my god, okay. Can't pick that up, can't check that up. Can't do anything with that. No, wait. Dear Charles Roberts, Vivian's situation is currently stabilizing. She has accepted the fact that she cannot conceive anymore. Oh, okay. Whatever, uh, however, she needs time to fully recover and a six-month rehabilitation is necessary. Your presence at the hospital has been noted to upset her. This only helped to prolong her recovery. I'm suggesting that you try and refrain from visiting your wife until she is in a better state to receive you. Your mother's desire for a boy to be an heir to your family has caused tremendous strain on her. Please consider addressing this issue with your mother. Pins Creek Community Hospital regards a patient's recovery as the highest priority. Our staff will do their very best to help Vivian. I apologize for any inconvenience this may cause you. Henry Johnson. Yeah, okay. I hate this one when, like, grandmas and grandpas are, like, or moms and dads are trying to um, decide which gender you, you're supposed to five no. can i get the the other one pick up five and two i can't pick them pick them up yeah yeah i can't take them five and two maybe we should try or do these yeah they do they do have numbers five and two no Five and two. We need something else. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to open that. Um, but we also have a code here for numbers. We need to find that. Um, did we find any codes? No. I was hoping that we will find a code for a safe in the gallery, but no. Okay, we have a cabin key. What else do we have? Oh, we have the room for, from Anne's courtyard. Do you think that's the Steven's room or what's his name? The private investigator? Okay, can I lock this actually? No, I can't. I can only open that. Okay. Um, we haven't been... Like, let's go around the house. Maybe we'll find something else. I always want to do that, but I always keep um, postponing this until, until I don't know. Okay, so we've been here because I went out of this door and I've seen this one. We can try and unlock it with this key, maybe? No, that, that didn't work. And this is the cabin key. Mm, no, okay. Then what do we have here? Oh, this is the garage, okay. And then we have the... 
this? Not sure we'll find anything here. But just to check. That would be great. Do you think the, ca the cabin is like the hunting cabin? Yeah, because here we have a lock. Um, and then that's it, I think. Oh, oh, maybe we can open that with this? No. Weird, weird, weird. What do you think is there? Can't see. Okay. Yes, and I think we've been here. We haven't found anything. Yeah, and this is the cabinet. Let's go fully around. Okay, now I know that I've checked it and it's fine. Now we can go. Let's go to Anne's courtyard. Um, let's check the room. And then, and then we'll see. Maybe we'll find some other clues there. Okay. Um, I think we can go here. Yes. I'm getting used to walking around in the in the town more. But still, still sometimes confused. Uh, also, uh, last time when I was editing, I noticed that we also have a red car um, near the cemetery. Maybe we can also open that. I think I've checked everything in here. Upstairs. Um, yes, I think it's Steven's room. Um, let's unlock it. It's it's weird that it was in the mansion. Like, why would he just leave it there? I hope he's okay. I mean, he left his car, so I'm not sure if he's okay. Um, but I. I don't know what happened to him. I hope that I'm alone in the city. <laughs> um, nothing in here. <laughs> don't tell me it's also closed. Why? It has like a lock. Okay. Oh, good. Let's read. Bernard Hopkins. The address. Father died in mine accident. He was at home the day Vivian was killed. No alibi. Interview with Dorothy, interview with Mary, tomorrow at Moon Cafe. Meeting with Sheriff at the outpost at 10 a.m. He mentioned wanting to show me some files. I found a hidden panel in the inn's reception area. It's part of the counter, it's hard to pop open. The latch is placed at one of the corners. There is some interesting stuff they hide in there. Oh, we should definitely check that. Uh, what? What's that? Is that a person? I think that's a person. Who's standing there? Oh my god, this is so creepy. Um, that's in the church. I should... Oh, I didn't even think to open that. Okay, hold on. I'll take a picture of that so that I will remember to check. Where can I find the key? Where's that? I don't recognize this. Um, is that also in the church? I don't recognize this. Okay. Cool. Okay, let's take a picture of that. Um, I'm not sure if we have seen it somewhere yet, but maybe in the future. Um, and then, what do we have here? Bible. Can't open that. That's it. Okay. So, do you think we need to go back to the church? Well, we, we will check the counter here first, and then, and then we'll go to back to church. 
um, they hide. So, where was it exactly? Hold on. Um, Stephen. Oh, I don't have his his notes. Letter. Vivian's medical report. Other. Um. I don't have it. I should have taken a picture of that. Because I already forgot where to look. Okay. It's supposed to be... Champagne. Oh, we can read that? I don't think I've read that. Pains Creek Community Hospital closes its doors after 60 years of service. Fund embezzlement uh, suspected as key factor. Pains Creek Community Hospital, one of the leading, no, one of the leaders in long-term rehabilitation for the elderly in Newland, finally closes its doors after 60 years of service. Pains Creek Community Hospital first opened its doors in 1936, serving as a humble adobe for treating patients and providing and provided boarding for those in need of prolonged treatment. Vivian Roberts, a successful businesswoman, saw the need to revamp the hospital in the early 70s. She founded um, the Roberts Relief Foundation with the main purpose to support the needs of the village of Paints Creek, starting the hospital. Starting with the hospital. By the early 80s, uh, the population of the village and local areas had started to decline rapidly. Many young people who went to college didn't return, and the number of seniors was quickly rising. With the increased need. Yeah. Okay, so... The hospital was closed before all of that even... Oh, can I open that? Do I still have the key from the room? No. Okay, I need to... Okay, give me a second, I'll go back and check. Okay, let's see. Found a hidden panel in the inn's reception area. It's part of the counter. It's hard to pop open. The latch is placed at one of the corners. There's some one of the corners. One of the corners. Look at that! Oh my god! We can. I haven't noticed that. Okay, we can open these, I think. Okay. Um, let's see. It's good that I. St oh. And the one that we need, we don't have here. Okay. Which ones do we have? Okay, all the other ones. Unlock. What? Is that the room key? Oh, that's the room key. It looked a little a little different from the one that we found before, I think. That's why I got confused. Okay, let's check the rooms then. Okay. Um I don't think we'll find anything in these rooms, but let's check anyway, just in case. Bible. Nothing in here. Well, at least I don't see anything. Okay. Here. Yeah, I don't think we'll find anything in these rooms. But let's just check. Because once we open the door, she she's deleting the key from the inventory. Right. Oh, we have a table in this room. Fancy. Or a <laughs> little misfortune would have said fancy. 
I love her. Um, yeah, nothing in here, unfortunately. Who's boss Ted? Okay. I love how detailed this game is. Like, yes, it's an abandoned town, but like, look at everything. And you can open all the doors, you can check everything. This is so cool. Um, one of the corners. Maybe let's close it. I am confused. Nothing in here. I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure. Hello? Maybe it's from the outside. But why would it be here though? Yeah, I think it should be on the inside. Okay. One of the corners. Oh, we can turn the lights on. It didn't work. Oh, okay. Um, I, I will be honest with you. I had to check it because I couldn't find it. Um, okay, what's that logbook? Okay, yeah, I had to check it out also, it was, <laughs> it was so confusing, even in the uh, hints, so, yeah, I had to find, like, a website with pictures and everything. Um, okay, so, March 20th, 1997. There is a private investigator in town by the name of Steve Moss. Rumor has it that someone hired him to investigate Vivian's death after the police seized their own search. It's a tragedy that Vivian's murder case was never solved. April 9th, 1997. I saw Matthew today while he was cleaning the church. He looked thinner than he used to be. We talked for a bit. He told me that he will be leaving Paints Creek soon as his services won't be needed here anymore. I think the recent deaths in Paints Creek affected him tremendously, not to mention the tragedy that befell his adopted son, Scott. Even now, no one knows what really happened. None of the cases were ever solved. What happened to Scott apart from being accused? He, he, is he okay? Sometimes I wonder if Scott did kill Vivian, or was he just unfortunate and wrongly accused? April for wait. April 14th, uh, April 14th, 1997, Mr. Moss came by today. He decided to question me, see if I know anything he hadn't already learned. I told him everything I legally, I legally could. When asked how his investigation went, he said, he said something about an incident that happened in <coughs> 1975, which might just be the breakthrough that he needed. As he left, I couldn't help but wonder if it had anything to do with the mansion mate who left Paints Creek. Who left Paints Creek? Okay, so we're talking about Sophia here. Um, so she left, but we know that she didn't left because we seen we have seen her ghost, and I'm assuming she's dead. Maybe it's somehow connected to Vivian and Andrew, because Andrew was seeing her. Uh, I guess out of guilt. But how is Vivian connected to it? I I'm not seeing this. Okay. Um, right. And then there is the clock. And also has 10.35. Like in the house. So it won't help us. Um, okay. I think we should stop here. It was very interesting. I'm very, very excited to see what's going to happen next. Next we will... Hold on. Let's check. So we will go to the cabin, I think. We also need to open the red car near the cemetery uh, and also I want to come back to church because we have um, this thingy to open and also in the church I think uh, in the church uh, I've when I was editing I've noticed that in the um, little plain toy we have a number 
and then in Andrew's, no, what's his name, Matthew's, um, yeah, Father Matthew, in his cabinet, there is a desk with digits. We, I want to check if the number will, uh, will fit. So yeah, that's it. That's the plan for the next one. I'm very excited. I'm so so happy to be back to this game. I haven't played it in a couple of days. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next part.